Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Environment and asks what response has he received on the review of Environment Canterbury from key stakeholders, including the Canterbury mayors and councils, the local government association, Naitahu, and environmental organisations? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the 10 mayors and territorial councils of Canterbury have been unanimous in their view that government needed to act and that commissioners needed to be appointed. The local government New Zealand president has said there is a need for swift, drastic action by central government. Naitahu said that they recognised the need for intervention and reluctantly supported commissioners as a temporary measure. The Environment Defence Society has said that the government must act and the Water Rights Trust from Cranterbury has said that ECAN is just not up to the job. That is why today the government has acted decisively. Right. Jackie Dean. Supplementary to the Minister. What additional powers is the Minister giving the Commissioners to get on top of water management in Canterbury? Oh, Mr Speaker. Order. Does this question anticipate legislation? Because yes. um, I just am not... 100%. So I must just seek some advice, in fact, on, on whether or not a, a question like that can uh, anticipate uh, legislation. I, I accept that uh, on the basis that obviously a policy decision has been made that the, the Minister can be questioned on that. Jackie Dean, I apologise. Oh, Mr Speaker, uh, the, uh, the, next minute. the Government today has announced that its response to the report that includes giving legislative status to the Canterbury Water Management Strategy uh, and it also intends to give three additional powers to the Commissioners. The first is to fast-track the completion of Canterbury's water management plan. Frankly, it's an indictment after 18 years that there is no plan for water in Canterbury. Secondly, the Commission will be given a decision-making role in water conservation orders in Canterbury under Part 2 of the RMA and also with respect to the Canterbury water management strategy. The third power the Commission will have is to instigate targeted moratoria of water takes in areas where the resource is either close to or is currently over-allocated. Brendan Burns. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can the Minister confirm that he has acted to end a democratically elected council in Canterbury after a review which in less than a month interviewed fewer than 20 stakeholders, iwi, and local mayors and council CEOs, none of whom, none of whom consulted their councils? The Honourable Dr Mr. Speaker. Mr Speaker, myself and the Minister of Local Government actually chose to meet with every one of the ten territorial councils from the Waitaki in the south to Kaikoura in the north, every one of those ten councils said to us that they supported the government taking this step. This is a decision that has not been taken lightly, but I'd remind members opposite that when faced with problems with the Rodney District Council in 2000, National and Opposition supported legislation through all stages to appoint commissioners with respect to those particular problems. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what steps is the Minister taking to ensure greater central government directive on freshwater management? Oh, Mr. Speaker. Mr Speaker, the Government is of the view that greater central government direction is needed on water management, and that is why one of the first things we did in government was uh, supported the Land and Water Forum. Although most councils have managed water without national direction, this government is committed to using both national environment standards and national policy statements to ensure that there is greater central government direction. It is our view that this, as well as the measures that we're taking in, in the Canterbury region, are needed to deliver the step change required in New Zealand's freshwater management. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what are the next steps for the Government to deliver on improving water management in Canterbury? Mr. Mr Speaker, this afternoon I will be introducing the Environment Canterbury Temporary Commissioners and Improved Manage Water Management Bill, and I am pleased to have the support of the Act United Future and Māori Parties. Once the legislation is passed, I would note for members opposite for them to reflect on the history in 2000 
over the Rodney Council when the then National Opposition gave support. Once that legislation is passed, Mr Speaker, the Government will finalise the remaining Commissioners and their terms of reference before gazetting the commencement date for the transition of those functions. Question number eight, the Honourable Ruth Nice. Thank you, Mr.